Hello YouTube and Twitch. Welcome back to Minecraft 1.1, 2.2, Feed the Beast Academy 1.1.1. I'm your host Eli the Fatigued, joined by Rocker Prez with a pig on his head. Hello, Tubies and Twitchies. All right. Um, so yeah, my wife isn't going to join us tonight. She's got uh, plans with um, a a uh, group of friends. Uh, plus, she's also making dinner right now. She's amazing. And you're wonderful. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, <laughs> she just came by to say that I'm wonderful. So that's nice of her. I love her. She's great. All right. Yeah. And you're awesome, Preston. Especially with those oh, pink legs in front of your eyes. Yes, that's <laughs> the only way I go out. <laughs> All right. Well, last episode, I was going to show you the Empower. Um, this thing. Yes, it requires power. Uh, Let's see. F. There we go. F is my backpack. Because the universe hates you. Huh? Sorry about the background noise, guys. Mm -hmm. My, yeah. Family is great, isn't it? All right. It is. Uh, I think all of these need power, if I remember right. If not, then at least the display stands do. And either way, I'm going to put it under the empower. Okay. This. What's up? This is power. Yes, this yes. one's stuck. Yes. Sadly, we are going to have to use the leadstone connected to the uh, hardened... Which is going to be somewhat less efficient, but I don't remember. I don't think this takes a lot of power per operation. And plus per operation, it takes a little while, so it can uh, get more power back. So I think it should be fine. All right. Huh. 80k, 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 and 80k. Okay. What were we doing? The item repair, so, I remember. What's up? So which is more efficient, hardened or leadstone? Uh, hardened, technically, uh, is better, but it's not efficient because the leadstone is less efficient. It allows less power to go through than the hardened. So connecting the leadstone to the hardened, the leadstone leading to the power, the hardened leading to the power users, is less efficient because it allows less power pass-through, if that makes sense. Right. Yes, I believe so. Sorry, I said a lot of that in one breath, which, yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, since we're using the leadstone to the hardened, it will be less efficient, but I think ultimately it should still meet our needs. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so we were doing the repairer, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, the item repair. Which you can look up in your uh, GEI or NEI. Yeah, GEI. It says right there. Cool. <clears throat> I always forget which is which and what is what. But you can look it up in GEI uh, and see how ridiculous the recipe is. Uh, the ender casing. We're going to need a lot of diamonds, basically. How many diamonds do we have? This is a good question, because... Oh, we have 50. We should have plenty, I think. I feel so slow. Display stand, iron casings. Alright, so we need black quartz. I think I have plenty what? of black quartz somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. So we just make a block of black quartz in here. There we go, we got a block of black quartz. Say that five times fast. Block of black quartz, block of black quartz, block of black quartz, block of black quartz, block of black quartz. Wow. I think it was only four times, but still. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Okay, so... Anyway, ender pearls. That's probably going to be our... Now we have five here. Unless we need any more. I think we're actually okay. So we need five, four empowered diamantine crystals. Which is to do it's probably more efficient as a block. <clears throat> so if you look up empower diamantine crystal block, 
or at least in power diamantine or diamantine crystal um you'll see in the empower uh you need to use clay uh light blue dye apparently and more clay so we need clay somewhere we probably have clay i believe because we did have to make that big old smeltery so we have clay somewhere we have eight clay i feel like we should have more than that yeah i thought for sure we did it's probably in a crate somewhere, but we play this so infrequently that it's just somewhere, and I don't know where. Huh. That's usually how it goes. Mining stuffs. Oh. Oh yeah, we have plenty of clay over here. That's it. Yeah, it's a good point. Thank you, sir. All right, cool. We have, yeah, we have plenty of clay for this. Okay, let me eat some bread. Okay, item repair, lock of court. Or ender casing, sorry. Block of black horse we have. Empower diamantine crystals. Empower diamantine crystal block. <laughs> we need a block of clay. And light blue dye. Light blue. Yes. Ah, dang it. I did pigment instead of dye. Dye pig. <laughs> okay. Light blue dye is lapis, and white dye, which is bone meal. Yeah. They make it so much easier back now. Okay, so we got the light blue, we got the block clay, and we have the clay balls. So then what we do is make the diamonds into a block. That would be the smart thing, because it's more efficient. I think it uses more power, though. So we need the diamantine crystal block now, which we go drop the diamond block onto here. Blammo. I thought that was an actual pig for a second. <laughs> <laughs> then we put the... It's kind of. <clears throat> Fair enough. We put the crystal block on there. We put a light blue dye. I don't think it ultimately matters where you put what, at least in this version. Then we put the... <clears throat> Well, it still needs to be in this kind of... Yeah. And there, there we go. Wow. And then it should just draw a bunch of power until it's done. And because it's a crystal block, like I said, I do believe it requires more power. It is efficient enough, and I think we have enough power in our uh, power cell. Yeah, we have 18 million RF. We're good. <laughs> Hey, it's done. And then you just right-click it off of there. Hmm. And turn it back into the diamantine crystals. And that gets us the ender casing with the block of black quartz, the four empowered diamantine crystals, and the four ender pearls. Easy, right? Wow. The rest of this is going to be a pain. Revolution. Yes. The rest of this is going to be a pain because we need four more diamantine crystal blocks. I think we have just enough diamonds, though. Yeah, just enough. Ooh. We have five diamonds left. Nice. Let's hope we don't need any more diamantine crystals, eh? <laughs> okay, I should do this, and I should probably do something like this. Make a bunch of... Uh, Play blocks. Put that. Oop, put that there. All right. So that's there. I should also make more dye. That's a good idea. Stop telling me to re restart my old computer to update because it'll never happen because the computer's so old that it just dies halfway through. Mm. Okay. Speaking of dying, there's a bunch of dye. And we put that there, and then we put the block there. All right, <clears throat> and so that just uses up a bunch of power. Wonderful. And time, to be fair. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, it's not done yet. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. All right, while we're waiting, we can look at Empowered Inori Crystals. Uh, that's going to be Snowball, Buttons, Cobblestone, and Gray Dye. It's going to be a bit more of a pain. And then two basic crystal or coils. If we come over here, we'll wait for that. Uh, we need the basic coils, which is four Restonia Crystals around... Uh, a black quartz. I don't have Restonia crystals in here, so let's go make some more real quick, because I don't remember where I put the other ones, and we've got enough power, it should be fine. I think that's why I had this other redstone in my inventory. There we go. Okay. Ah. Alright, go back over here. I'm pretty sure it's done, but let's at least make these coils first. So we just make two of those. Yep, it is definitely done. Uh, um, let me take out. There we go. I think you need an empty hand to get it out, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. Then we just do it all again. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the power again. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Something like that. Yes. Uh, so we're waiting for that. And then we need to do Empowered Inori Crystals, which is just, you know, uh, iron. So just make a block of iron. Then we go turn it into a block of Inori Crystals. Boom. Boom. And... Yes. I, yes, okay. Alright, so while that's doing that, let's get the rest of the stuff we're going to need. Which is the empowerment for <clears throat> the Inori Crystals, which is a snowball, a button, a cobblestone, and gray powder. Which I think is just white and black. Which you make... Hold on. You make it... Oops. Oh, shoot. There we go. Can we make it with... Coal. We can make with black lotuses. It's black pigment, black dye. There we go. Black sprouts. Black lotuses are black sprouts. Do we have any black lotuses? I don't. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. We just need like the one gray dye, but we're gonna get a bunch of gray dye. Let's look. <clears throat> All right. So we just get some more bone meal. Use it with the black dye to make gray dye. Oh, that was plenty. Oh well, fine. Um, inventory is getting full now, but it should be fine. I have a bunch of Inori crystals in here I apparently forgot about, but it's fine. We have a bunch of Inori, we have an Inori crystal block. Uh, while we're doing this, we should set this next one. That's the wrong one. That's the empowered. Oh, that's the Inori crystal. I was like, wait, I didn't have another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we just do this, this, and this. Then we get a cobblestone. And we have the gray dye. Then we need a stone for the button. All right. And then we need a snowball, which I don't think we have a snowball yet. Can you take a shovel and go up to that mountain and get me some uh, snowballs? Just like... Literally just one would be good. Thank you. And I'll get this set up while you're gone. I have to do this the fun way. <laughs> of course. Yes, of course. Slime slip. Let's watch him go. Where right there. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> ah, that render distance. You gotta love old Minecraft mod packs. You're able to <laughs> render pretty far without too much lag. Okay. It was cobblestone button. Excuse him. Goodness. No Zamber. Cobblestone button. What am I doing? That was wrong. The gray dye. Uh, this here and oh, then no. you okay? Go away, baby. <laughs> that should be there. That should be there. 
<clears throat> you okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Baby zombies really ruin your plans sometimes. Indeed. Next, we just need the one snowball, and I'll let you put it in when you get back. That way, you, you can actually do something and learn. Yes. That Learning is good. good. Yes, I, I find that doing it yourself is one of the best ways to learn. <clears throat> you have a dinosaur on your head, so you must die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Learning by doing. Okay, finally. Okay. Got to sorting out my inventory a little bit. I'll get a few just to be safe. Okay. Oh. And then after we have done this, we should have everything we need. Yeah, we should have everything we need. Should be good. Awesome. Just jump, jumping on the bed. Oh, I see him on the map. He's coming that way. Yep, there he is. With murdering pigs along the way. <laughs> All right, uh, put that snowball in this display stand. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. I think that's the farm or something. Anyway, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, when my wife and I would play vanilla when we back, back when we had a, oh, it's done. I saw the particle effects while staring at you. <laughs> but back when we were playing vanilla, we would, um, we had a, what are they called? A realm or whatever we paid for. Oh, and yeah. mac and cheese. Oh, thank you. Mac and cheese. Jeez, don't. And, uh, we had a, we started in a snow biome, and so we just throw snowballs at each other all the time. It was great. Yeah. All right, friend. That's the only reason to go to a snow biome. Indeed. All right, friend. Um, go ahead, go into the crafting station, and then look up mm -hmm. item repairer, and then shift click it into the crafting table. Okay. Ooh. All right. There we go. Quest completed. Yes, and then we can go ahead and place okay. that. All right. We can go ahead and place that over here. Um, this can be output. Place it right in front of the energy cell. Blammo. And that'll repair any item now. Look at that. It's repairing my chisel. Boom. Repaired. Wow. Don't remember if it works on Tinkers. I don't think it does. No, it does. It works on Tinkers. If you look at the durability, really? if you hover over it, yep. It's just got a lot of durability. Oh, I see. So it's taking a long time. Mm-hmm. It takes that a makes sense. good amount of power, too. Look at how fast the energy cell is being drained. <laughs> We're already at almost 16 and a half million. Oh, wow. But it is repairing very fast, to be fair. But that should now make it so that we can repair our armor without doing the bullcrap vanilla way of... But the real question is, can it repair this rotten flesh in my inventory into a live zombie? No. That would be the revival machine, which is not in this mod pack. My gosh, of course there's something that does that. I mean, I don't know if there is, but there probably is. Let's be honest. And you want to know what? Want to know what we can do? What we can, can automate it. At least I assume so. Oh, by attaching chests to it? Yes. Wow. Yes. All right. Um, do I have any chests on me? I don't. Of course I don't. The one thing I don't have on me. All these ducks and stuff, but no chests. 
Let's make a crate. <laughs> it's like, why do you have ducks on you? <laughs> Funny, man. All right. Got some storage crates because I love storage crates because they're the best thing to ever happen in modded Minecraft. Or Minecraft in general, really. All right, so this... That is the wrong side, I just realized. There we go. Preston, you remember how these work, right? <laughs> how what work? The servos. Yes, they draw, correct? Yep, and so look in the top chest. I just put three pieces of armor in there. Now look in the repair. And it'll auto-output to this crate over here. So we can just put our armor or whatever we want repaired in this top one. It'll repair it, and then we get it back after a short time. But then it'll repair the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. I love automation! Ooh, Sorry. That is amazement. Yes. I, I, I have very, very few outbursts like that, but I, I really, really adore automation in video games. As... Uh, <laughs> Fans of my RimWorld series can attest, and my all the mod six. To be fair, oh my gosh, all the mod six. There was a lot of stuff automated in that. Oh yes, I know. <laughs> Just from what I've seen. So yeah, you can put your gear up in that as well. Um, anything that needs to be repaired. Mm. I mean, it does use a lot of power, but it's amazing so speaking of power now we just we might need another steam dynamo i mean technically no because it's actually going through the charcoal <laughs> charcoal really fast we might need another source of power now because of that <laughs> because starlight uh blocked off the lava so we can't get them <laughs> oh well oh <laughs> i just realized Didn't that think about that yeah that's the most uh, uh, efficient way to get power, right? I mean... The magnetic dynamo? Kinda. It's it's unefficient way, as long as you have a source of lava. Now, I think we all know the answer to this question, but what happens if you throw a snowball into the lava pool? Um... Yeah, like everything it breaks else. on Eli's head. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Like everything else. Oh, it just disappears. Yep, like everything else, it just disappears. I'm gonna throw a snowball at a cow. <laughs> Poor cow. Our sheep will do. Poor sheep. Oh, it actually hurts him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Pretty sure I have PvP turned off, and that's why. I gotcha. Mm-hmm. All that work. Was it worth it? Heck yes. Because it can even repair enchanted items. You ever play Minecraft, have an enchanted item very close to breaking, and it's on your last repair cycle for vanilla? Didn't know there were repair cycles. Well, okay. So the way it works with vanilla Minecraft... You have to repair items using the anvil, but right. it counts as enchanting it, so it uses experience. Hi, zombie. That oh, shouldn't yeah. be alive right now, because it's middle of the day, but okay. Uh, that was weird. Hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, but you have to uh, repair using the anvil, which counts as enchanting it. It uses experience levels, and eventually it just gets to the point where you don't have enough experience, and you can't gain enough experience to actually repair it anymore. Not a lot of people experience yeah. that, but it is a thing. And I hate it. On top of the fact that I just hate wasting resources, you know? One of my pet Wasting is bad. Mm -hmm. Just in general. Mm-hmm. And this is why I've been wanting to get this for as long as I have. It is really cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, uh, different mod packs have different things uh, allowed or <clears throat> disabled. 
-hmm. a lot of them don't like you to have repairs or stuff like that because they think it's cheaty. And it is a little bit. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we're playing with mods. What about any of this isn't cheaty? That's true. You could say the auto farmer is cheesy because it farms food for you. You could say the smeltery is cheaty because it doubles your ore. You could say that about anything. Ah. <sighs> I think your sword's done. But I just put mine in. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I I love modded Minecraft. One of my most favorite things, but I've just played so much solo Minecraft, vanilla and modded. That after I complete a pack, I don't want to play any more Minecraft for a while. That Solo. Um, but once we finish this and start actually working on uh, actual mod packs, like good, like non-teaching mod packs, there we go. Um, mm -hmm. I think it'll be a lot more fun for both of us. Um, <clears throat> so do you have any questions about what we've done so far today or any other day? No, I mean, obviously, if I ever, the next time I do all this on my own, I'll have to look up all the recipes and stuff. Again. Well, yeah, I still have but to. Just, you know, based on everything that we've done so far, I've already been able to kind of remember almost how things are supposed to go mm -hmm. um, when playing solo. So this has been really helpful. Yeah, And the big thing is... Don't be afraid of having to look up recipes. Don't be afraid of having to look up how things work and how things are supposed to go together. Yeah. That's how people get to the point of, you know, my knowledge. I'm not a professional or experienced uh, Minecraft player. <clears throat> but, okay, no, I would say I'm, I'm an experienced Minecraft player and modded Minecraft player. But even I, as an experienced player, have to look up recipes now and again. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't have to look up at least one recipe out there, especially with newer mod packs and newer mods and stuff. There's always going to be new mods. There's always going to be stuff you don't remember. Don't be afraid to say you don't know. That's, That's something good advice for life. Indeed. It's something I've been working on uh, a lot, is just learning how to say, I don't know. All right, we did complete that quest, so let's turn it in. Oh, yeah. Holy There's crap. Just... There it is. <clears throat> that diamond, diamond pickaxe. Pick. Yeah. With one durability left, I wonder what they want you to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> they can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use it. Yeah, okay. So speaking of uh, enchanted items, you can mm -hmm. actually... Um, what's the word? What's my brain word thinking here? There are uh, mods that allow you to build um, different machines and stuff to strip enchantments off of them. So this en enchanted pickaxe, you could put uh, on a different pickaxe, like a higher tier, because there are higher tiers than diamond in, in modded Minecraft. Especially in vanilla Minecraft, in the newer uh, Minecraft versions, the netherite. Though I don't know about netherite yeah. pickaxes. Uh-oh, there goes our power. Oh no. Yep, we are out of power now. <laughs> 280 RF, the energy cell. <laughs> Yeah, because this one's providing 240, and this one's providing 40. And it's already almost out. Oh, gosh. Jeez. Yeah, we're, that thing uses a lot of power. Like, the next thing I would recommend us doing is working on our power situation, because, holy crap, we have no power uh, for high-tier stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> But that would be good to take with us that pick uh, when we're mining stuff like diamonds and stuff because Fortune 5 is ridiculous. Plus it has Mending 2, which I believe in 1.12... Ow, loud. 1.12, I believe. Um, I think I think Mending... 
used experience. I think it always used experience. Vanilla mending, anyway. There's just a lot of stuff to keep track of, to be fair. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll just repair that slowly, I guess. <laughs> and hope that nothing else runs out of power when we need it. But yeah, Can that... I have something supplying these coal generators? Yes, this whole system over here of growing trees and getting the logs and then uh, smelting the logs into charcoal. It's just we probably need more uh, bonsai pots. Mm. Is the sad thing because it just it just goes through. <clears throat> the charcoal really fast we just had a major backlog of logs haha -ha. um when we yeah, first yeah. when we first built this so yeah because huh. this is eventually going to stop producing as much power as it is right now once we run out of charcoal so definitely next episode, we need to work on power situation just a little bit. Because that's the thing about Minecraft. You always have to work on something or other to make something or other automated to do something or other. Mm, yes. <laughs> something or other. Indeed. Alright, oh, so dear. speaking of episodes, we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed any dimension of this episode. And I truly hope that this episode helps you guys with learning Minecraft if you're watching to learn. If not, uh, just enjoying my content, which I appreciate either way. We appreciate either way. I've enjoyed my present. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> and I've been your host, Eli the Fatigued. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.